James. So this evening I'm going to try to show you my normal routine that I do at least during the summertime while the cows are out on the grass. Typically uh, turn the water on. I got a splitter over there on the hydrant. I'll turn this water on and and uh, put it in one of these tanks. These are these here are pumpkins. They're getting getting pretty big. But, uh, it rained a couple inches a couple mornings ago, but I got about two tenths last night, so I figured they probably could still use a little bit of watering. But uh, got a lot of green tomatoes that aren't turning red. There's just a rare few that turn red that I get to pick. Mainly all I get is cucumbers, which I got that, that's what I'm watering. That's probably what I try to water the most because uh, uh, it's still, the ground's still a little moist in there, but since out the tomatoes don't want to turn red anyway, I don't I don't get too, too concerned about watering them as much as I do the cucumbers because uh, I do get quite a few cucumbers. I got a pepper there I picked. But yeah, that's about all I get at tomatoes. There's a few of those every so many days. I'm gonna run down here to the pasture, check the cows and the newest calves first. Then I'll probably run down and check the four heifers that are in the in another pasture, past the mo one of the mo pastures. So I had a bucket of cubes on a in a basket I got here on the front of the uh, four wheeler that I uh, I was gonna take down and put in the creek feeder for the small calves, but I thought I'd take a little detour and show you how the rain has helped the milo grow, and uh, this is what happened. Apparently, my little I got a it dumped over and ended up on the ground. So I'm about to pick that up because that's too expensive to throw away. But yeah, my little bungee strap system here. Uh, normally, if I hadn't been a filming, I probably would have noticed it and caught it before it tipped over, but I never never actually had it tip over, but apparently I need to come, come up with a better system. But, but I'll show you this Milo over here. It was getting a, a lot of brown leaves before this, that little, that little two inch rain we got pretty much made a big difference. It looks it looks way better than it did. There's still a few brown leaves here and there, but it wouldn't hurt it to have a little more rain than that. But I think there's still a little rain in the forecast that yep, we might get, hopefully. But uh, it's definitely looking a lot better. I might have to pick this mess up before I can go down continue on here so I'll get back to you well I managed I managed to get most of it with a little grass on with it it'll have to work for now that I do have a, a new 
one up to the house. But, yeah, the cows don't like that uh, the calves get cubes and they don't. So every time I come, this uh, creek feeder is turned around a different direction. I can't really film myself dumping that in there with one hand. I need two hands on the bucket, so uh, there it be. And uh, as you can see, the cows, you know, these creep feeders, in case, in case you uh, aren't familiar. But uh, cows can't get in there, but the calves can. Got a little cover here to keep the rain out. Straps down to this bar here keep the, also keep the cows or well basically just keep the rain out of it because the cows can't get their head down in there anyway so yeah i'm gonna have to get my glove i took off to push the button on the phone any anywho as i yeah they've uh the wire broke Looks like the wire broke. It doesn't look like. No, nope, doesn't look like the uh, that broke. So I still got some of a block over there. I was trying to get a fly block at the local tractor supply, but they can't seem to get any in stock. I may have to go. I may have to run back and get some more wire for this. Deal. I don't know. I might be able to make. I might be able to make this work. Might have to. Might have to put you down for a minute. And oh, well, I'm thinking maybe they just basically pulled the wire loose. It doesn't. I don't see a broken piece of wire nowhere. Somehow they just got it loose. So I was able to pull back up and twist it back up again. Tie it back up there. Maybe that'll hold it. For some reason, seems like about every bit of, if I have a diesel, oh, a diesel fly mixture, well, it's a, can't think of what it's called at the moment that I mix it with, but I have a mixture rating. It's, you can either mix with diesel or, a, or a, oh, mineral oil, I guess it is. Mineral oil or diesel or water, but water is going to evaporate. But uh, it tends to go right to the middle and run out on the ground. So, but uh, I wanted to put some, dig some pulse holes and stick some four by fours in, and stick a a fly, a dust bag, and and another one of those. Try to, you know, do them a little more good. But uh, I don't have a tractor, and I can borrow a tractor, but uh, I have to haul it over here, so it's kind of a pain. So, well, I do have well, I do have a tractor. I have my little Ferguson TO30, but it's really not big enough to run a post hole digger. At least I don't think so, anyway. So I'm gonna set this bucket back out inside the the other side of the cattle door, so the cows don't think I'm feeding them. We don't think I'm feeding them anyway, but. Follow me back up here, I probably would feed them, but set that like that, then I can grab it when I come back by. I don't want them to, I don't want them to 
want to keep them out of that as much as I can so they don't get foot rot. Because this other pond kind of has a gravelly bottom so they ain't you know, not getting up mud in between their toes like you know even in the center of their hooves like they like they would in that one. Surprisingly enough, they're not all running towards me thinking they're going to get fed. They usually do. Usually, uh, you know, I, they always have a leader, and that's number one over there. And uh, if she would have took off running, the rest of them would have took off running, and she wasn't being fooled today, so. I'm going to try to get a count on them here, and. Go check the hot wire and then head back to the I say house but really is no house up there but so I don't know what I'd call it but yeah they they kind of they're keeping this aid off pretty good compared to what it would be if they weren't out here. There's definitely a lot, a lot more grass on the other side of that hot wire over there. So definitely got to get that. Definitely got to get this done. Get this fence done so I can, I can have more grass or more grass for their choosing anyway. Well, I got them all counted and they're all here and accounted for. I got a little friend here. He's getting, he's gotten pretty, pretty close to me. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Let me zoom back out. That's how close he is to me. You know, I had them shut up because they had pink eye. And, uh, Still got a little smidge of pink eye and some of them in one eye. That one has a little spot in one eye, but they're definitely getting over it. The bull was the worst one. He couldn't see at all, hardly, for a few weeks. That's why I had him shut up in the lot. Had to, had to waste six bells of hay on him. Well, not really waste it, I guess. I had to, I had to feed him six bells of hay that I'd rather not had to feed. 
mainly because of him, because uh, I didn't want him walking through any fences. But I don't know if I can zoom in on his spectacles or not, but he's a, uh, they can definitely see, at least definitely see out of one eye, that's for sure. Can't see his other eye. Let's see if I can get around here and see his other eye. His other eye doesn't look bad either. Not looking too bad. Yeah, you're looking a lot better, Tupador. Yeah, you're looking a lot better. Got about all the calves in one bunch here. One over there. white face one back there another one here somewhere it's got a white kind of a white face caught <coughs> maybe just one might be just one that's got a white face this year, usually have a couple. Well, I only got one here that's definitely got an issue with this eye. Yeah, that one's not looking good. Hmm. The rest of them are in that kind of condition. They're all on the getting better side this one looks like he just got it or something so I may have to see if I can run that one into the into the lot and give him a shot and some spray in his eye or at least some spray in his eye anyway cows and cows they say can get over it on their own but calves they can they can possibly go blind according to Google anyway Good old Google. So yeah, I have to do something about him. Wouldn't have noticed him if I hadn't been standing there looking at him for so long. James here. You're watching the poor farm. If you like these videos, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.